Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 363. Multiple Myeloma. What is multiple myeloma? Multiple myeloma is a monoclonal plasma cell cancer that arises from the bone marrow and it produces a large amount of immunoglobulin Gs in about 55% of the cases or it can also produce immunoglobulin A which happens in about 25% of the cases. This plasma cell cancer is the most common primary tumor that arises within the bone in the elderly. What are all the consequences of multiple myeloma? In multiple myeloma you would have increased susceptibility to infections the reason for this is because the bone marrow is involved in this and because the bone marrow will start getting replaced with the tumor cells you will lose the ability to fight off infection therefore leading to that increased susceptibility to infections. Multiple myeloma can also lead to primary AL amyloidosis. Also in multiple myeloma there is going to be punched out lytic bone lesions on the x-ray because of the fact that multiple myeloma leads to destructive bone lesions. You would also see the characteristic M spike on protein electrophoresis instead of the gamma spike. You would also find immunoglobulin light chains in the urine which are known as the benz jones proteins. Also in multiple myeloma you would see Ruloff formation because of the fact that plasma protein is high and therefore increasing the erythrocyte sedimentation rate. So you would see Ruloff formation which is just red blood cells stacked like poker chips on blood smear. What is the mnemonic to help you remember all the consequences of multiple myeloma? The mnemonic is just to remember the word CRAB and CRAB stands for hypercalcemia so calcemia has the letter C so hypercalcemia and this is due to the fact that there's going to be destructive bone lesions or is for renal insufficiency because you see the benz jones proteins which is immunoglobulin light chains in the urine. A is for anemia and anemia is going to occur because bone marrow is the one affected so bone marrow will be replaced with tumor cells and therefore leading to anemia. And B is for bone lytic lesions and back pain. And because the bone is going to be affected, there is going to be lytic lesions and this will lead to back pain. One additional mnemonic to help you remember the M spike is just remember multiple myeloma. They start with M. So remember monoclonal M protein spike. Describe what you would see on a multiple myeloma smear. On a multiple myeloma smear, you would see numerous plasma cells with clock face chromatin and intracytoplasmic inclusions containing immunoglobulins. What is M spike seen in multiple myeloma? M spike seen in multiple myeloma is because of the overabundance of monoclonal antibody and this antibody could be immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin A. So because this is a plasma cell cancer there is going to be an increase in production of immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin A and therefore leading to that M spike instead of the normal gamma spike. What is the name of the disease if the M spike is due to overabundance of immunoglobulin M? If the M spike is due to overabundance of immunoglobulin M, the disease is Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. So knowing what antibodies are causing those M spikes are important to distinguish between multiple myeloma and Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. What is Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia? Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia is a cancer of the B lymphocytes. It is associated with overproduction of protein called immunoglobulin M antibodies. This condition will lead to hyperviscosity symptoms but there is no lytic bone lesion seen in this. So remember multiple myeloma has the lytic bone lesions plus the M spike is due to immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin A whereas in Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia there is no lytic bone lesions and the M spike is due to immunoglobulin M. For more information on this topic click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE step 1 review be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.